everybody, welcome back. Corey with the Good Air Travel Company. And today's topic is gonna to be on a uh, question that I get asked a lot as a travel agent. Is it safe to travel to this country or that country? So what I typically do is say, let's go to the US Department of State's website. They've got a list of all the countries in the world. And each one of these countries is, um, is given a certain level of travel advisory, anywhere from a level one to a level four. So I'm gonna go over these levels and just give you an idea of some of the countries that fall within these uh, travel advisories. So I've got a list here I'm gonna be looking down at. Um, level one is just to exercise normal precautions. So these are gonna be countries such as Iceland, Switzerland, and New Zealand, typically really safe countries. Level two is a lot of the countries that we travel to. So that's gonna to be to exercise increased caution. So just to be a little more aware of your surroundings. It's gonna be countries like uh, the Maldives, uh, Turks and Caicos, Peru, Spain, UK, Japan, um, and part of Mexico. Uh, level three is for US citizens to reconsider travel. Just to give you an idea, some of these countries, the Congo, uh, Sudan and Pakistan and then you have level four which is do not travel so you're typically going to be countries that are in some sort of turmoil and the government just does not have the resources to come may not have may not be able to come bail you out if you get in trouble into these in these countries that's going to be uh, Afghanistan Yemen Syria and Venezuela falls in that category as well I was wondering where does the United States fall you know we're we're constantly looking from the inside out you know, try to i wanted to look from the outside looking in like what are these other countries how do they look at the u.s as far as safety do they look would they look at us as like a level one type travel advisory or maybe even a level four you think it would be kind of a mix in order to to get a better understanding of some of the the common misconceptions that we have as travelers um, you know, in, in, in regards to safety, maybe we should look at it a different way. I ran across some travel advisories that were given uh, to other countries, to their citizens, when they were wanting to travel to the United States. So I thought this was kind of interesting, and I'm gonna, I've got a list here, so I was gonna read off some of these to y'all. Japan had warned their citizens that the U.S. is uh, a gun society and to be aware of potential gunfire. This was in regards to the mass shootings like in Nevada, California, Texas, and Ohio. So Japan thinks that we're uh, gun crazy, you know, and that every household probably has a gun in the house. And uh, to be honest, they're not <laughs> all that wrong. We, uh, we love our guns here in the U.S. Uh, Venezuela, one of the world's most dangerous countries Yes, um, advises citizens to postpone travel to the U.S. due to growing acts of violence and racial discrimination. So this is Venezuela, which is typically ranked one of the most dangerous countries uh, in the world. And they're telling their citizens that they need to postpone travel uh, due to violence and racial discrimination. Um, Germany advises citizens to have health insurance and a credit card in case they are injured in the United States. Um, they said it's often cheaper to fly back to Germany um, as medical medical care is way too expensive um, in the U.S. So can you imagine traveling to another country and be worrying about getting injured and not being able to afford insurance um, or afford, afford medical care within that country? France advises citizens to adopt a more reserved attitude towards people of the opposite sex in order to avar, avoid charges of sexual harassment. So, you know, can you imagine a, a Frenchman coming to the United States and being afraid to talk to anybody of the opposite sex because, you know, he may be worried of uh, sexual harassment charges. Australia uh, warns its citizens that you're twice as likely to be killed in a motor vehicle accident uh, in America than you are in Australia. So think about traveling to another country, renting a car, and knowing that you're twice as likely to die um, they are driving that car than you are back home. Uh, the UK advises citizens to be vigilant at all times due to the ongoing threat of terrorist attacks in the US. Ireland tells its citizens to be sure they have their documents on hand at uh, all times as police officers are known to uh, detain people they suspect of being illegal immigrants. So, you know, you're going to another country. A lot of times, us as American citizens, we leave our passports in the room, we lock it up somewhere, and we go out and walk around town. Um, so, you know, they're telling Ireland citizens that you can't do that. You have to keep your passport on you in case, you know, you get stopped because if you don't have your passport on you, you could be detained. So after reading through that list, I mean, would it be safe to say that that is somewhat true, that much of that stuff is? I mean, we do have gun violence. We probably got some of the worst gun violence 
um, any other nation in the world. Uh, you know, we've got racial discrimination, um, sexual harassment. You know, uh, medical care is is very expensive in the U.S. So, you know, with all this considered, um, you know, even though a lot of this is true, do, is it so true that we feel unsafe as, as U.S. citizens? Do we feel unsafe? here in America, you know, you on the other side of that camera, I mean, are you afraid to get in your car and drive into town? Are you afraid to walk around your downtown, you know, at night or during the day? Are you afraid to, you know, put your family in a car and drive and visit uh, all the other different states within the United States? You know, for the most part, no, we're not really afraid of that stuff. You know, we feel very secure, very safe here. So why should anybody coming in from uh, another country to visit the United States feel any different? But they do, you know. These are these are misconceptions that other people have of us. So you know, we kind of got to think that we we have the same thought process whenever we're going to visit another country. So I'm going to change things up just a little bit, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to talk about mass shootings here in the United States. So I'm sure y'all remember back in 2017 in Las Vegas, there was 58 people gunned down, murdered. In, on the busy Las Vegas street and there was like 422 people injured uh, during a concert there in Las Vegas. So when when did everything return to normal back uh, in, in Vegas? It really it wasn't a month later that they held a, a big marathon, uh, the Las Vegas Marathon, rock and roll marathon uh, there in Vegas. Thousands of people gathered in the same spot. You know, Vegas kind of went back to normal. Now in 2018, there was uh, up to nine members of a U.S. family that was gunned down by the cartel uh, near Chihuahua, Mexico. This was huge news, uh, you know, here here in the U.S. We still kind of remember that stuff. So anytime you mention traveling to Mexico, that's kind of one of the first things that, that pops in your head, that one isolated incident in a level three travel advisory that nobody ever goes to, that's that's the stuff that you think about. Because you think, anytime anybody's going to Mexico, you think about the cartel or thinking about, you know, people being murdered. Uh, Mexico definitely uh, has its fair share of crime, but uh, but the United States is worse. It really is. Um, according to a, the crime stats done by nationmaster.com, uh, you are three times more likely to uh, die of gun violence in the U.S. than you are in Mexico. So, you know, keep that in mind. All that being said, uh, unless you're traveling to a level three or a level four travel advisory area, um, just use common sense. You know, and also keep in mind the locals want you to be safe. So tourism is really, really important in in these countries that you're traveling to. They don't want bad press. They don't want anything like that. So the local people are are looking out for you and your best interest. So hopefully, you know this uh, this video is kind of giving you a, a different perspective on uh, safety and travel. You know, and the way that that we look um, at other countries and the way that other countries look at us. So let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, let me know how you feel about traveling um, and your own safety. And be sure and put your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.